Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk to the video. Yes, this is the GDU O2 and we finally have it on our hands and this video is all about an in-depth review of this drone. Let's go inside. Hello guys and welcome again, this is Alex Asmacher and let me first put you a little bit into the situation. We purchased this drone in the middle of October, somewhere around the second or third week of October and we received it today. This means about six months later. It's important to highlight that when this idea, the drone, this, this GDU O2 was going to be released September last year, um, there was a big, big hype around this drone because they named it the Mavic Killer. So we finally received it six months later. DJI has already released another Mavic, the Air version. And we want to do an in-depth review of this drone and see if it is capable of really being that Mavic Killer. Let's start first a little bit about the impressions right out of the box that I had. And I have to say that when I opened the box earlier this morning, it was like, oof, this looks a little bit kind of big, you know. But then I'm starting to like it more and more and we've not been flying it still. But look at this, the arms are really interesting. They just fold into the drone, which is something completely new. And there's a clack, if you heard that. And the props are also being folded when you put that bag in. You just can fold it this way and the whole thing goes inside again. So the, the space is really, really tiny. Uh, once you open all four arms, the drone is not that big. It's still probably smaller than a Mavic, completely unfolded. And the gimbal on this side looks pretty, pretty similar to the Mavic Pro gimbal. A little bit, you know, shakes a little bit. So you'll be using for sure the uh, protection always it's our recommendation because otherwise if you put this into the bag or something you know this is gonna break and overall it's a pretty solid drone the controller also it looks a little bit big and you know look at this if you want to put your phone inside it gets bigger but let's see the feeling once we fly that so before getting into the specs let's just go fly it see the footage see our experience fly. The image looks pretty stable here. HD transmission 720, 30p. It is pretty loud, I have to say. It's a loud drone. I expected it to be less, less noisy, but it's smooth and it's stable. You'll see the footage. It looks pretty good. Right now we're filming in 4K. Well, finally, you could see some of the footage that GDU was able to capture with its three-axis gimbal. Um, I want to mention that you can't really go through video settings. So while you're filming, you can adjust the EV, but you're not, you can't really adjust the shutter speed or the aperture. It's everything automatic. The resolution of the video, you can choose among three different options. 4K 30fps, Full HD 30fps and 720p. 30 FPS so you can't really move or if you want to do a full HD 60 FPS you can't and you know this is a little bit limiting if you go right here it's curious because you have three options to use on the video the normal record which is normal you can do a time-lapse which 
looks pretty nice and then slow motion you will get a slow motion video it says i don't know i don't really know what it means there's no information at all if this drone can film at 60 fps or it's just gonna edit some of the 30 fps into slow-mo so we're just gonna you know what test it So as you can see right now, I am controlling the drone with the phone. It's not connected to the controller, the controller is not connected to the drone. And I have these two joysticks where I can use and, you know, pan the drone, move it all the way as if it would be the controller. Apart from that, uh, GDU promises a lifetime of the battery of 20 minutes on one single charge. For charging, I think it took up almost one hour some somewhat around one hour to charge the whole battery and a little bit less the controller also to fully charge it 45 minutes one hour now without telling you what was inside the box because we did an, an unboxing for this you can check it out if you want it was um, uploaded a couple of days ago um, good things about this drone first of all the flying experience was not bad at all I enjoyed it actually it has vision sensors on the bottom of the drone forward sensors for obstacle avoidance and we tested it um, on a tree and actually you could see that at three meters it doesn't even um, go full throttle anymore it goes slow kind of what DJI does with their speed and it stops uh, it has to be activated because on default it's not activated also an RTH button which is pretty good uh, you can return the drone uh, set up the altitude you wanted to return. Also, as you could see inside the app, you can choose among two different options, the novice and the classic more pro. Um, if you go to the novice uh, version, you can actually do some intelligent flight modes, um, which are also pretty nice. They remind me also a lot to the DJI uh, functions. Actually, the name is pretty much the same. You have a drone, you have circle, uh, you have uh, rocket, you can do a lot of stuff automatic which is really great for such a drone and the price of this drone right now is 732 bucks plus shipping fees which of course depending on where you live are going to be more or less and for that price it's a pretty solid drone also it is a wi-fi drone this means that you connect the controller and your phone via wi-fi to the drone which means that the maximum reach that you can fly the drone is one kilometer or 0.6 miles. Remember that as I'm saying it's Wi-Fi so you have also a Wi-Fi video signal, HD signal 720, 30p as I mentioned before on your phone but you have to be careful because we were flying now and you know if you go a little bit and you have some trees around you may lose at some point the connection and the video transmission. Something that I'm not sure yet if I like a lot or I don't like at all, you don't have an option to put an SD card inside or micro SD card. This means that this drone has an internal storage, in this case 16 gigabytes. There is also a pro version, a gold version of this drone and this one had 32 gigabytes. This one right here has only 16 gigabytes internal storage. Well guys, overall um, this has been our first day using this new GDU-02 and I have to say mixed feelings because there are some details of the drone and some specs that we really liked a lot but there are also some things you know that GDU should be improving in their upcoming models and overall the experience has been good because there is some potential there really is some potential in GDU to make DJI's life a little bit more complicated in the future which is great for all final drone users like us for example the first thing I like a lot really is um, the way the drone is foldable I mean there's some nice ideas. There has been people really that have been thinking about this and how to make it a little bit different than what is already on the, in the market. Um, there are a couple of things like once the drone is folded and the controller is also folded, you can just put this like this together and you know, not a lot of space. And you can put this of course inside the uh, bag and you know, this kind of details make the overall experience more positive than what you expected. On the other hand, I can't really understand the reason why I can't be choosing among more frame rates. Well, of course, I understand the reason. The sensor is not as big as a Mavic, for example. But um, 
there's really not a lot you can do, especially in the video mode. So this leaves you as a user a little bit, you know, you can do the basic and that's fine, it works fine. But you know, sometimes you want to change the shutter speed, you want to, instead of 30 frames, you want to do 60 frames. Um, you know, a couple of things that are not being able on this drone. Also, on the other hand, positive, I thought um, that this controller was really big. And you know, as you have to do like this to put your phone in, it gets even bigger, but it's nice. It fits really nice in your hand. It's comfortable. Um, you have the screen right next to the sticks. So it's, it's overall a different and nice experience. And again, on the design, there have been people that have been thinking about this and making us the life easier. Also, maybe on the negative side, it is a very, very loud drone. We will do a comparison anyways with this drone and the Mavic Pro Platinum or the Mavic Air, but it is really a noisy drone and we're here in the park, there are some people with dogs and you know, they kind of were stressed by the sound of the drone. Once you go up and you go away, no, of course, because it's far away, but you know, the landing, the, the taking off, it is pretty, pretty loud. Also, it looked pretty stable, so the stability was okay. When I turned it on, um, it said weak GPS signal. Um, I don't know, I have trees surrounding me, but they weren't really on the top of us. Overall, and once the GPS signal was on the phone correctly, um, it was pretty stable, so not a big deal here. And also, I mentioned it before, you have to be careful. It remi reminded me a lot to the Spark. Once you go and fly, you know, a couple of hundred meters into one direction. If there are some trees between you and the drone, you're gonna lose the image. Um, of course, not the drone signal, but you're gonna lose the image signal and you know, at some point, <laughs> you don't really like this happening. This of course is avoided by their Gold or Pro version, which has another type of system and not Wi-Fi signal. And of course, you, this is not happening right there. So answering the final question, whether it's a good drone to buy in 2018. It is a good drone, it is solid. It is not yet, it doesn't have the level as a Mavic Pro or even the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air is a little bit more expensive, maybe 50, 60 bucks more expensive and the technology, you know, is a little bit more developed. But I really trust a lot GDU. Um, as I said, the potential is there and I believe they can make really good things and this model, if we, you know, in a couple, you know, maybe in a year get a second version, there is a lot of possibilities that they be a Mavic killer. Right now, I'm sorry, but it's not as good yet. Well, guys, we really hope that you liked this video. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment. We always answer. We're going to do more videos, comparison videos, also test all the different types of shots you can do, everything, anything you need, please let us know. Nothing else to say, always remember to keep calm, like for Chibo and talk UAV. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot the reason why it took six more months than expected to deliver. It was, um, once I asked them why, they said that it was, they were replacing the gimbal for a better um, efficiency and a better you know, experience for the user. So that's all I know.